eggplant, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and of course, pasta. First things first. So you want to choose an eggplant that's heavy for its size and there's no cracks, wrinkles, or bruises on the skin. I like peeling the eggplant for this recipe as it will break down into the sauce and I just don't want any pieces of skin in the sauce. Cut the ends off and cut into about quarter inch thick slices and as you get to the larger part uh, you can cut the rounds in half or even quarter them. They will break down after frying them so don't worry about having a large piece of eggplant in the pasta. Next up I have 30 grams of cremini mushrooms that I'm just cleaning with a dry cloth and you can remove the stems if you like as well and then finely chop up the mushrooms. Ideally you can just toss the mushrooms into a food processor uh, to speed up the process. Now this looks like a large bowl of mushrooms but it'll be half its size once cooked. Then grab 200 grams of cherry tomatoes and slice, quarter or even a mixture of the two and just set those aside. Finally grate about 60 grams of a nice snowy mountain of Reggie, Parmigiano Reggiano and give yourself a nice little treat after all that grating as well. Now let's fry up the eggplant in a large pan on medium to high heat. Add enough oil, I used extra virgin here, to cover half of the eggplant when placed into the pan. We are essentially shallow frying these. Place the pieces of eggplant away from you when the oil is hot and fry until golden brown, flipping often. Timing will depend on how thick you cut them, so just keep an eye on them. Once done, remove to a plate lined with paper towel to definitely soak up any excess oil and you may want to grab some more paper towel just to dab on top to grab any excess oil as well. Let's cook the mushrooms in a dry pan, yes a dry pan, on medium heat, add the mushrooms and leave undisturbed for about 5 minutes. Mushrooms are mostly water and we need to get rid of as much as we can. If we add any liquid now, they will just act as a sponge and soak it all up and you'll basically have soggy mushrooms in the sauce and you don't want that. Now you can see all the moisture being released at this point. You can start mixing around the mushrooms and to continue to cook down. And you'll start to see the bottom of your pan get brown and sticky and that's called font. It's all flavor that will get released later. When the mushrooms are cooked and browned, you can add a splash of white wine. This is optional, but the wine will deglaze the pan, add more flavor, and will release the font. If you don't want to use white wine when we add the pasta water later, that will do the same trick as well. Now we're going to bring the heat down to low medium and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one smashed garlic clove, the cherry tomatoes, eggplant and season with salt, freshly cracked pepper and chili flakes for some heat. Give a mix and continue to cook everything down. You want to be able to mash the tomatoes as they soften and break down the eggplant as well. Now it's pasta time. Generously salt a large pot of boiling water, add your pasta and cook just before al dente as we will finish cooking it in the sauce. Now just before removing the pasta, remove the garlic clove from the pan and add a ladle of the starchy pasta water and continue to cook the sauce down. Then we're going to add the pasta to the pan and now it's time for la manta cottura, mixing and tossing the pasta to marry the pasta to the sauce. Adding more pasta water as needed. And when the pasta is done, we're going to tear up some basil, mix and toss and then turn off the heat and add the reggie, parmigiano reggiano, a handful at a time, mixing and tossing. You will be left with a nice sauce and the cheese will definitely thicken up the sauce a bit so you can add a bit more pasta water to thin it out if you want. Plate it all up, top with some more reggie of course and bring it to the table. As most of you know, I love my pasta and this is just another pasta recipe to add to the list. It's delicious. I really like the fried eggplant. It brings out the sweetness, the tomatoes, and of course the mushrooms. And remember, with the mushrooms and the eggplant, you want to get as much moisture out to avoid a soggy disaster. So I hope you give this recipe a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the link in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.